Nearly every child's life in some way, but for kids with ADHD, the virus poses some extra challenges. Ursula Perry shows us some ways to help kids and teens with ADHD help them manage their symptoms during this uncertain time. The COVID crisis turned Brian Owen's school year upside down. Well, not having your teachers for one-on-one -on -one instruction um, definitely is a disadvantage. But the 19-year-old college freshman also has ADHD, a condition that makes focusing and paying attention more difficult. Many students, like Brian, are struggling to maintain their disorder during this pandemic. And about 70% of those with ADHD will also be dealing with some other conditions, such as depression, anxiety, learning difficulties, or oppositional defiant disorder. If your child's schooling is remote with no set schedule, try letting them choose the best time to log in, but create a consistent routine they can follow. It may help if the student makes visual checklists to help them see what their day looks like. Alternate the schoolwork your child finds less appealing with more enjoyable activities and include movement breaks such as bike riding or jumping rope as exercise may help ADHD symptoms. For Brian, it's all about setting a schedule he can stick to. I just set my um, reminder to begin schoolwork at 12 p.m. and I just worked till I get it done. This cooler weather does make it a little bit easier for kids to get outside and get some exercise. And while it's tough to keep up with medical appointments during a pandemic, if your child is already on medication, you need to make sure they stay on their regular routine of meds. One more thing could help all kids. Doctors also recommend that you limit the amount of negative news your child has access to. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.